So we're on to doing the heavy liquid separation. I've got my non-metallic portion that was fronzed. It's now a verb, fronzed. Got my goggles on because lithium heteropolytungstate. It's not a super dangerous um, liquid, but you want to be careful. It isn't something you want to drink or put on your pancakes. All right, so now I filled up a small vial, the cutest little beaker. It's a really cute beaker. And I'm going to pour it in here. Not all the way, just a bit. And then I'm gonna whoosh it around. Oh, that button. Oh my God. Make sure you put it on tightly, but this is good. This is why I have A, gloves on, B, the paper down, just in case there's any spillage. Okay, that looks good. It looks like it's all spread out. So I'm gonna fill it up a little bit more. Great. I want to add just a bit more, and now we're going to pipe at all of the bits of grains that are stuck on the sides. Pipe it. And now you've got to get all those little bits into the LST. And I also want to see, just in case there's any green stuck to the top of our vial here, I'm going to whoosh them out and put them in as well. We really want to get every little grain because we might be able to find exactly what we're looking for in those little grains that are stuck to the sides. This is very detail-oriented work, but it's pretty cool and fun. Cool and fun. We're looking good. All right, I'm gonna screw this on. We're gonna leave it overnight, and tomorrow when we look at it, we'll see, and it's actually already separating. The less dense particles are rising to the top, and the more dense particles are going to the bottom. And this would be more dense than 2.62, and less dense than 2.62 is gonna go to the top, so. Again, we come to the principal foundation of density. Lab work. It's all about the basics of science. Or at least for me it is. See you later. All right, so I have my sample CBT2, which was dry sieved and water sieved after being crushed. And now it's been sitting in LST 2.62. Everything that's more dense than 2.62 is now at the bottom. Everything that is less dense is now at the top. So we have to separate these two. And for that, we need liquid nitrogen. Get on your goggles, folks. It's about to get crazy. All right. So, goggles. Gloves. Goggles. Liquid nitrogen. Here we go. Check it out. It's smoking a bit. Looks pretty calm and placid. But now we're going to put the sample in. And this, my friends, is where the magic begins. I am freezing it. So I hold it in there for a little while just to make sure it's totally frozen on the bottom. And even though I have gloves on, I can still feel how cold liquid nitrogen is. If my gloves were not on, I could easily freeze my fingers. All right, looks pretty good. Just a little while longer, just to be careful.
that looks good. Excellent. All right, so now I have these two separated, the sinks from the floats. I want the floats. I'm gonna carefully unscrew the top and pour it into the correctly, collect correctly labeled filter paper. And now it's going to filter through the filter paper and I want to get all of those little bits out. So this is deionized water and that is going to get rid of all the little bits that might be left. Just in case there might be any on the top. Ooh. All right, looking good. So this I'm going to put in the oven to melt. Now, this I'm going to rinse over and over again until all of the sediments are collected into the center of the filter paper, and then that will sit in the oven and dry for later use. There you go. Liquid separation. All right, so it looks like my sample CBT2, after going through LST 2.62, these are the floats, and they are all concentrated carefully into the center of the filter paper, which is what we want. So, now, very, very carefully, I'm going to loosen up the filter paper, pick it up, and put it into a beaker leaving it flat around the side so it will dry really easily and then when we're done we can get the dry sample out of it easier. So it is labeled and now it's going to go in the oven. Hello oven. And we'll put it in here to bake with all of the other samples. Okay, so now we are going to do the sinks portion of LST separation with my sample CBT2. So this is what was left on the bottom that was frozen by liquid nitrogen. It is now melted and we are going to empty it into the filter paper. So, it takes it up all and they put it in. Then I'm going to drain it out with DI water. So I'm going to take some DI water and get those things that are stuck on the bottom out of there. It's weird, but this almost looks like sugar on the bottom. We want to get every little piece because that may be exactly what we're looking for. just in case there was anything stuck on the top. Looking good. Now we watch it drain and as it drains I will rinse it circularly with DI water to get all of those sediments concentrated in the center. It will drain. When we're done draining then I will put it in the oven. It will dry and then it will be given to the master scientists above who will know exactly what to do with it, which I believe is to look at it under a microscope and see if it has the minerals we want. And that's it. All right, so it's about lunchtime. I'm done Franzing. Franz is all bundled up in his lovely leather jacket, cleaned with methanol and air gun, done for today. Now, check out how much I've done today. It's been quite a busy morning. I have got in the oven about 
eight separate samples. So actually it was originally four samples that were separated into sinks and floats and now they're drying out. And as soon as they're all dry, I will bottle those up into tiny little vials which will be stored and looked at under the microscope later. So quite a busy morning.